Hello everybody, and welcome back to another race in the top 16 of the Hollow Knight All Skills 2021 tournament. Uh, I believe this is the semi-finals here, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, losers round three, I believe. Losers round three. Yeah. Uh, and this match will be between Murray and Devin. Uh, both really great runners, so hopefully they get a awesome race today. So there's a minute, uh, about a minute between their PBs. Um, they've both been very solid during the tournament thus far. So again, should be very solid. Should be a very good race. Um, I can double check and see if they're ready to count it down. Just give me two seconds here. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know people's uh, tags in the, in name, unfortunately. Yeah, looks like both runners are ready to start. They're both sitting on the title screen. Uh, okay. So, let's see. Double Tifa. Oh boy, yeah, where is Mary? Mary. Devil's typing, so it should be good. Yeah, Devil's ready. I don't know if Murray is. Oops. Yeah. Um Sorry guys, we're just uh just trying to get everybody counted down and get get, get them going. Just gonna take a couple more minutes. Hopefully yeah. soon. I'm trying to find Murray's Discord tag. But yeah, that's what I was having problems up. with. I think I found him. It looks like they're both ready though, so hopefully he answers soon and we can get them tied it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're ready. So I'll count them down and we should be good to go. All right. Sounds good. All right. And there will be a bit of a streamed delay as well. But you should see them start within 20 seconds, I would say. Yeah. So as the runners will load in here to Kane's Pass, uh, we expect we're probably not going to see too much difference until we get probably in the green path. I would doubt we see more than a second or two between them all the way up to Viaz. Uh, things yeah. to look out for is Grudge Drop RNG, uh, getting the double Aspid kill, uh, as well Spitz. as Balder Spitz. Yeah. And the, uh, Right up here, coming up right at the start of Kane's Pass, uh, the runners can get about a second ahead off good or bad Vengefly RNG. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're pretty similar as far as placement and stuff, it looks like, for Vengeflies. Yeah, neither runner really gets anything bad uh no um, i see 52 times from both runners here uh, actually devil tifa just gets a hard fall uh so we'll probably see murray about half a second to a second ahead exiting kane's pass 
not going to make a huge difference further in the run, but yeah, so Murray's got a 51 exit, Devil's got a 53, couple seconds difference, that's all. And what you'll see the runners doing here is they will be doing the full jumps here because this is a slow walk zone. Jumping is definitely faster than walking, so they'll jump throughout this whole section of Dirtmouth. Yeah, now coming up for the runners here will be the Gruz drop. Uh, ideally, the runners won't get hit at all, but they could be hit by as many as, I think, three Gruzes, but that's very rare. Usually it's only one or two. Ooh, Murray getting a face full of Grez right off the bat. He does manage to hit it out of the way, but he still does get hit on one by one on the drop as well. And now they'll be going into the Aspid Arena. Um, what you want to see is then take care of that first Aspid very quickly and then try and use that belt, that spike to hit both of them like Murray just did. Devil not getting both of them with his spike though. So it'll be a few seconds lost there as well. Yeah, and that double aspid kill is probably the biggest time save or loss you'll see between runners in these uh, early segments of the run. It actually does lose probably about four seconds. Yeah. Um, compared to getting the double kill. So we'll see. Murray's slightly ahead, but it's by no means going to be race deciding uh, gap. No, it does kind of sometimes set the tone for the race as well. Uh, racers can get into their own heads if they miss that and start missing other tricks as well. So we'll have to see if they're able to come back from that as well. Yeah, it's definitely a common thing to see in these race settings. Runners just get a few seconds ahead and try and make or get a few seconds behind and try and make up that time by going just faster than they're used to and uh, losing more time in the process. And it's yeah. just kind of a self-repeating cycle. Yeah, it just snowballs at that point. But hopefully both runners are, they're both experienced. I wouldn't expect that to happen, but you never know in a race setting. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't expect to see it this early, but we'll see as it goes on. Murray getting one know jump either. back. They're both getting the same false knight RNG. Jump back once and then jump forward again. Not the greatest RNG, not the fastest, but still better than two jump backs, so we'll take it. Yeah, and it's always nice to see both runners get the same RNG. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way the run isn't decided in the end just by who gets luckier. All right, so they're heading over to get their first spell. Uh, they will be using this spell fairly heavily in Green Path, both to take care of enemies as well as do a couple of fireball skips for movement so that they can bypass large portions of Green Path as well. Oh, there's Rixian. I was just wondering where Rixian is. Thank you, Rixian. So, so about five seconds. Sorry, go ahead. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, and that five seconds is actually on the uh, high end of difference for these uh, late tournament races. We've seen people within a second for a lot of the races coming up mm -hmm. here, but those seconds will quickly disappear with something as simple as just a missed fireball skip or bad moss knight RNG as we continue on. Yeah, we're gonna be heading first into the next RNG portion of of the run though, the aforementioned Balder Spitz. Trini Recky is 11, Dude X Cube got that at one point in the tournament. Hopefully we don't see that, oh my goodness. Murray. Oh my gosh, Murray's at five, okay. but that is unfortunate. I think Devil got second or third, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so one second between them now. And that's what Balder Spitting can do to you. I've seen many racers reset when Balder Spit is not optimal. So, in a race setting, this is something that can weigh heavily on our racers as well. 
especially early in the race. But they'll be heading into Green Path. There will be another boulder, but at this point, um, in 1221, you don't have to worry about this bit. Uh, there is a boulder quick, quick hill that you'll be seeing both of them do. Devil getting another boulder spit too, so he'll be full on soul to attempt this fireball skip right here. Yeah, Devil oh, really has a ton of soul going in the green path here. Having that extra cast on entrance will probably allow him to save some time, uh, either just ignoring some of his other soul sources or um, just giving him more safety by allowing him to do an extra fireball on one of the upcoming skips. Yeah. So Devil's got almost full soul here. He's going to have to hit those birds hanging out there. Dit Murray as well has full soul. <clears throat> yeah, and Rick's again pointing out that they're even now heading into Green Path, so... Yeah, looks like at this point, uh, Devil's about half a second ahead. Uh, and... That is really close, this race, but tightened up very quickly. Yeah. So this will be their last fireball skip. Murray gets it, Devil gets it. They're running neck and neck at this point. Yeah, unfortunately, Devil does get bad placement of that husk after the fireball skip, and it has to kill it to knock it out of the way. Uh, yeah. And that will is a little bit of time. Nothing super significant, but it'll probably even up the times completely here. Yeah, see, now Murray's about 0.2 seconds ahead, I believe. Both of them getting the quick kill on the Moss Knights, though, so what they're doing is they're getting as close as they can after that first fireball to force him to jump back so that the second fireball will double on them, save them a bit of soul so they don't have to collect as much up here in this room. And both of them got it handily as well. And now coming up, both runners will be hoping to see the Moss Knights towards the left side of the screen, uh, but they can also spawn towards the right side, which will force them to do different strategies that are both more difficult and slightly slower. Though Speaking both runners will get the good RNG with them yeah. close to the left side. They're both getting very comparable RNG, which is nice to see. It is worth noting at this point that Devil is 13 Geo ahead of Murray. Um, it may be significant, it may not. We'll see how much Geo they pick up in other portions of the run. And that will come more into play as we approach Dash Slash in a little bit. So what they're trying to do is stunlock Hornet in a corner. Devil's doing pretty good with his keeping her in a corner. For Murray, she's jumping around a little more than we'd like to see. Taking yeah, Murray's having a really rough fight here. Yeah. Yeah, Devil's going to be ahead by a couple seconds, it looks like, at this point. Still very, very close, though. Yeah, three seconds. Next, the runners will be going into Fungal Waste, pick up their next skill. Uh, very movement-heavy area, not a lot of enemies that they're going to have to contend with besides uh, a couple of mushrooms and some Petras as well, or Mantises, I should say. And Devil uh, but, just lost a small bit of time there. I uh, accidentally landed on the ledge from his fall instead of mm. falling straight down to the platform. It's nothing significant, but those little differences will make a bigger difference in the race that is as close. Very doing a good job weaving through that first area in. Wow. Fungal Devil as well. A little bit slower, I think, than uh, Murray, though. But Yeah, it looks like so far Murray's slowly gaining like a tenth of a second time on Devil. 
in these uh, fungal waste rooms. Yeah. I would expect to see a couple wee pogos coming up as well. I'm not sure if Devil does them. Murray for sure does, though. Um, which is just a a stylish way of doing e pogo. It is considered faster, correct? Like, yeah, it is slightly faster. It's much more difficult, though. Uh, but yeah. that could make the difference for Murray here if Devil does not go for Wee Pogo. Devil not getting good RNG on those mushrooms either, but. Yeah, not handling it particularly well. Devil did take quite a while to get that Geo. Yeah. But... Devil choosing to do the classic way of doing E Pogo. Murray, of course, going Wee Pogo. And they look like they're about even here. Looks like Murray actually might have pulled ahead by a second or so. Yeah. Both getting Mantis Pogo easily, not even needing a third Pogo to get them up high enough. Yeah, very clean Pogos. 942 at quit out. 945? Yeah, 44. Very comparable. There's a, still only about two seconds between them. So it's still very, very close race. For sure. Um, this race is swinging back and forth very quickly. What they'll be doing now is they're going to be heading over to uh, Salubra, but first they're going to have to deal with uh, the grass mother. Um, a few different ways to deal with her depending on if she flies up high or if she stays low to the ground. Uh, I've seen a couple racers pogo her if she gets up high just to be able to deal enough damage to her. Yeah, Devil has a bit of trouble uh, in the first gome room. Accidentally falls into a pit uh, and I'll probably lose him another second or so to Murray. Murray does not kill Jennifer. We love to see it. Yeah, and we shouldn't see Devil do that either. Yeah. Both of them did a good job getting their soul. Ooh, Murray, Murray misses a fireball. Yeah, so she is going to be able to attack. Usually what you want to see is you get enough damage that she doesn't start to ground pound attacks. Devil also having some issues. The devil hit all his fireballs, but missed a couple nail slashes. That yeah. Allowed Grace to get out of the back end. Yeah, cleanup not the greatest on Murray's side as well. There was one that flew up into the ceiling. Yeah, the devil is also having a little bit of trouble. Wow. Yeah. But does handles it a little bit better than Murray did. <laughs> so now they're gonna pick up their only charm of the whole category. They're going to pick up their Shaman Stone, clip it, and then they'll start setting up for their Shade Skip into Blue Lake. Now, I have comms cursed this a couple races, so I'm not going to say anything about the Shade Skip. I'll leave that to Spicy. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, with the Shade Skip, if runners of this caliber, it would be unlikely that we see them miss. Uh... The only situation where we could see it happen is if the shade fireballs in a very unfortunate place, uh, making the runners accidentally hit it too low. Both getting it very nicely. Oh, and Murray's getting the new we found Walkling story down there. He's showing all the stall points today. Oh yeah. Yeah, that wall clean storage was just discovered about a week ago, I think. Yeah. Uh, a human viable, consistent setup for it. Uh, and it saves, I think, uh, two to three seconds over an optimal blue leg uh, done the old way. Yeah. Both not getting a bad orange, uh, a bad placement on that, that big shielded husk in that room there either, so. So here they'll be wanting to collect a little bit of geo from two rows here, that top row, and hopefully, yeah, not too bad, not in the window, so that he's able to fireball and get all the geo from the tusks that were wandering around there. 
Oh no. Devil uh, having a bit more problems there. Yeah, if that husk is all the way to the right by that window, that window has a huge hitbox that'll just eat fireballs. Uh, yeah. So you kind of have to slow down in order to kill it. Yeah, and Devil did do a good job. He chose to drop in the middle instead of dashing over to the window and potentially having it eat his fireball. Oh, and Devil also did fall there a little bit, so that's a little hiccup as well. Yeah, and looking at this, it looks like Murray is very healthy on Geo, and it looks like Devil is as well. Uh, so neither of them should have problems going into the dash slash split. Yeah, it looks like Murray missed maybe four Geo from Gold Husk or Gorgeous Husk. Not bad. And yeah, Devil both of them are well three. over the uh, 708 Geo threshold that they're looking for. Yeah. So they'll just be farming it from the hoppers as they go over to Dash Slash. Nothing too crazy. They're not going to have to farm extra from somewhere. Taking very, t doing it very neatly as well. Very nice hopper clean up there. And yeah, he's well man. over at this point. Yeah, it's yeah, interesting he's... to see him go back for that Geo, uh, considering how much he has. Uh, I guess just for tournament reasons, he wants to play it safe for exiting Sanctum. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, Sanctum is Sanctum. You want to spend as much time or as least time as there as you want, or as possible, I should say. Alright, and with that, they've picked up their first nail art. Uh, this nail art is considered more of a lockpick. Um, it does allow them to get into areas that they normally would not have access to. Um, Big one being uh, to get Shade Soul. Usually you'd have to save slide, get 800 Geo, get the Elegant Key, fight another Soul Warrior, I believe they're called. I just call them Mormons. And then be able to get uh, Shade Soul. With Dash Slash, though, you're able to hit the lever through the wall and get it without going that circuitous route. Yeah, and that theme of using nail arts as utility tools is held throughout the run. Since we never upgrade our nail, uh, nail arts are never really useful for us for anything other than various movement tech or to get places faster. Both choosing upper route to go through this room and city. Um, bottom route is considered faster, top route is better for soul collection though, so... And Murray does a great job getting past these sentries uh, in the spire. Uh, first try, lever hit through the floor and takes no damage. Not bad placement of the husks in that top room either. And Devil gets by the sentries cleanly as well. Oh. Ooh, but yeah, Devil takes a hit of damage getting Soul Collection. Four mass going into Sanctum is generally not dangerous in this category. Uh, but I guess in the case of getting really awful RNG, it could cause problems, and it also just makes him have to worry about his health a little bit going into the Soul Master fight. Murray choosing not to fireball twice to take care of that Twister down in that first room. Um, and choosing to keep his his soul rather than using it up on that to go through quicker. Interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that pays off for him, because it does definitely lose uh, not a negligible amount of time to miss the double and go for the nail hits to finish off the soul warrior, or the soul twister. Um, but having that extra soul can make the soul warrior fight a bit easier if you mess up the quick kill. Yeah, and it is worth noting that on the Oro Hut quit out, that they were tied. 
fill these couple of seconds. We'll have oh, no, Mur Murray was seven seconds ahead of Thor. Oh, oh, was he seven seconds? Oh, excuse me. They were tied on that split. <laughs> tied on the split. I apologize. I just woke up. Okay. Alright, Murray is now ten seconds ahead at Shade Soul. Uh, that damage that Devil took um, in the Soul Collection room with the husks probably cost him a lot of that time. Murray just choosing to, fi to fireball that twister rather than deal with him. He's getting in his way. Yeah, and that's a smart move. Um, Soul is pretty... Uh, there's a lot of it in this area. It's pretty plentiful. Uh, yeah. So fireballing rather than damage shanking through it does save a bit of time. It can also get you some geo. So what yeah, you're... Nice online storage. Devils. Yeah. Murray is going to be going for a quick build. Looks like Devil's going to be as well. They're going to fireball to the right and then to the left. I don't think he got his Devil though because he just did decide to go right into the dive. Yeah, unfortunately, if Soulmaster goes into that dive right away there, like we saw happen to Murray, it's impossible to get the quick kill. Uh, which is just unfortunate RNG. Uh, keeping with the theme of similar RNG, though, Devil gets exactly the same thing. Yeah. Still a quick fight, but, oh, Devil's still actually having a few more issues than Murray did, it looks like. Yeah, Devil's fight definitely took longer than Murray's. Uh, unfortunately, Soulmaster staggered just one Shade Soul away from dying. Uh which caused the devil to have to run around, hit him three more times, and then fire off another shade, so... Yeah. Murray threw the second phase very quickly. Was fairly nice with his spawn point after the dives. The devil took care of him before. So devil's second phase, it looks like, was a little better than Murray's. Yeah, devil so had a really clean second phase there. Oh, Murray going for that uh, dash slash storage did get hit out of it though, unfortunately, so. Yeah, Murray struggled a little bit in that section. Uh, it's possible Devil could save a couple seconds on him there. Mm -hmm. Let's go very close, as we've been saying. Devil not even going for the dash slash storage. So. Yeah, you know what? It is. As far as tricks go, the dash slash storage is almost more of a swag strat. It doesn't save a super significant amount of time. Uh, and it does save a decent amount of time if you mess it. So I understand the uh, decision, especially in a tournament setting. Yeah. About 12 seconds difference. So Devil did lose another couple of seconds to the Soul Master with that rougher first phase of the fight. Also worth noting, he's on two health here going through. Shouldn't be an issue, but this big husk that Murray's going to currently be coming up to does do two damage. So hopefully he gets good placement for... Yeah, both runners here are super clean on Geo, though, so we shouldn't see them playing with that husk very much. Uh, if the yeah. runners were lower on Geo, it would be much more of a problem because they'd be trying to ink as much Geo out of this room and getting dangerously close to that husk. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, going to get hit by that, though. So he is on one health. Should be fine, though. Nothing is aggroed as long as he doesn't fall in this hole or anything. Shouldn't need to, though. It's fairly healthy on soul as well. Yeah, Devil is a 300 Geo sitting on that bench. Uh, meaning that he won't even need to worry about Geo at the coming dive. Uh, it looked like Murray didn't really have to either and was able to just dash straight out of the room. Yeah. Um, so where they're, they're going to be going to my favorite area of the run now, they'll be going to, into um, 
Crystal Peak. Saying hi to Mila. Hopefully the only time we're going to see Mila. Um, but the next section is very movement heavy, very cycle based. Um, very easy to lose a large amount of health by being off cycle and losing health quickly by not being able to get back on cycle. So we'll have to see how both runners manage this area. Yeah, and we'll uh, notice here that Devil does have a little bit more soul than Murray going into this split. Uh, it shouldn't be super significant unless one or both of them uh, elects not to do Pog Axe. Uh, but in this case, we'd expect that that soul won't really make much of a difference for him. Unless Devil one of them does... starts taking damage. Yeah. Devil did miss the the lever coming out of the stag station in Dirtmouth did have to go back for it another second or two lost there as well. Yeah, unfortunately that's kind of been the theme for Devil here. We've been seeing small mistakes losing about a second or two at a time uh, for the last like 15 minutes or so. Uh, yeah. Hopefully he'll be able to pull it back. Uh, I know he's capable. Uh, to answer chat, yeah, that was probably my cat. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, and Murray's not giving him a lot of room to come back. His movement has been very clean. Um, Soulmaster fight was clean as well. So. Oh, it's first try pocket. Yeah. Yeah, no, Murray has been having a really great run so far. Uh, other than that Soul Master uh, RNG. Yeah. Uh, there haven't really been many mistakes by him. Although, I guess I just kind of curse that because he did just miss God Cycle. Uh, but that's uh, only a minor fall. Devil getting first try Pogax as well, it's worth noting, so. I would be curious to know if either of these racers are on pace for a PB. The Devil does miss God Cycle as well, so it does take another damage. Yeah, unfortunately, it gets there in time, but the uh, Crystal uh, Beetle just fires off its laser too soon, and he missed the God Pixel. Yeah. With the amount of health that Murray's got, he's going to be going for damage cycle in this room. Yeah, there he goes. Um, damage cycle is faster, but as the name implies, you do take a damage. Um, if you're lower on health, most racers will go for damage less, but Murray's quite healthy right now. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Devil decides to go for damage less or damage cycle. At four mask, it's kind of like a runner's choice sort of decision, because you only do need two uh, ending the split, and having that one mask of safety uh, is probably enough. And yeah, we, we do see him do the damage cycle. Underplat from both racers. Oh, he was low on his underplat, too. A little scary double. Uh, but they're going to be going into the pressure room now. This is another very scary room. It's easy to mistime your dashes and get squished. Murray gets through very easily, though. Yeah, though, Murray does pause for a good moment in that pressure room. A devil does have the opportunity to Ooh. probably grab a couple seconds on him there. Murray does get the wall clink, though. Murray's got all of the style points today. Yeah, Murray has not missed a single uh, style track this run. Devil also choosing to pause a little bit between pressures, so don't know that there's that much time saved there, unfortunately. Oh, Devil getting that wall cling as well. Very nice. The Devil is definitely really fighting to try and stay in this with Murray, who is just performing extremely well. Murray not going for the crystal pogo down the bottom of that room, which is fair. It is a difficult trick, but it does give Devil the opportunity, if he's able to pull it off, to save a second or two.
Ooh. Devil getting a, a, a wall cling on that platform instead of landing on the platform. A little scary, but... Yeah, Devil does not go for the, for the spike pogo, it looks like, so... Yeah, which is it's understandable. Definitely... It's a really finicky pogo in a situation yeah. where taking damage is very bad for you. Yeah, that, especially right there. There is that crystal hunter that's sitting there just waiting for you. It's easy to get either fall into the crystals on the platform below you that you just jumped off of, or get hit by that crystal hunter into others, and it just becomes a very dangerous situation very, very quickly. Yeah, and at this point here, Murray is around 21 seconds ahead of Devil. Uh, 22 now, actually. Um, and that is getting to the point where I'd consider that a significant lead. Uh, 22 seconds is hard to come by this late in the run uh, at this level. Uh, yeah. The biggest places we'll see it is the wing split with Broken Vessel. Murray just fell trying to do underplot, so that does give Devil the opportunity there to make up a <laughs> <Yeah>. few seconds. <laughs> Instant curse, as Rick yep. says. It's I was gonna not say, my fault. <laughs> I was going to say, most of the big places we'll see time saver loss between the runners would be the Hornet 2 fight, Broken Vessel, um, and the Isma skips, as well as Umu. So hopefully both these runners nasty. will get a one cycle. <laughs> uh, chat saying that Devil is two seconds ahead of his SRC time, so... Could potentially be looking at a PB here. As long as he's still consistent with that. But we'll have to take a look. We'll have to ask him afterwards, too. And Devil was and... able to gain four seconds on the Dream Nail split after Murray's unfortunate fall. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be both heading into the Watcher Knight fight here. Um, hopefully the Watcher Knight RNG is, is good today. What you want to see is the pairs stack up so that the splash from their D darks hit both of them, not too much rolling around. But we'll have to see how how they're feeling today. Yeah, an interesting strategy for starting these uh, second pair of Watcher Knights from Murray. Normally you see runners start on the left side of those knights. Uh, Murray started on the right and just let it roll into the wall to position them. That was a good decision. Yeah, it worked out really well. The second pair is kind of not being as nice to him, but he still makes a fairly short work of it. Good fight on his part. Devil demonstrating the traditional strategy, unfortunately getting it out of his uh, second dream nail. But both the knights do stay in place and allow him to get all three D guards in very cleanly. Both deciding to roll. Unfortunately, one does roll a little further away than you'd want to see. So he is going to have to take care of this pair separately. Yeah, Devil handles it pretty well, though. Um, I'm interested to see uh, how the times look after these fights. I'm really not quite sure who saved or lost anything there. I think Murray's was a little bit faster, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um, but with that, Murray is slurping up his first streamer. Yeah, one second difference. You know, coming up here we have the Isma skips. Um, most notably uh, for differences in time. Uh, we'll probably see the spike tunnel is probably the most likely that these runners will miss once or twice. Yeah. Uh, being as high level as they are, I'd find it very unlikely that they'd actually die to the Isma skips, but they can save or lose time by messing them up once or twice. Yeah, but first they are going to collect this uh, Watcher's Night chest. De uh, Murray did miss a little bit. I don't think he missed too much, though. Uh, but with that chest, um, 
they're basically set on Geo. Anything else that they need throughout the run will just be incidental pickups that they pick up um, as they go through. Murray. Yeah, there it goes. Murray's picking up a little bit of extra extra soul. What they'll pro what he'll probably do is after that first uh, after that first isthmus skip, that spike tunnel skip, he'll probably follow or uh, fireball to get the horns out of the way. They do have a bad habit of being in your way. Yeah, Murray will get the spike tunnel first try here. Yeah, and there's the fireball. Very nice first acid skip. Will he go for setup or setup list? I believe Murray goes for setup list. No, he went for setup there. Interesting choice uh, on that board. He does first manage time. to hit it though. Yeah, unfortunately, oh no, oh, yeah, the worm does make there its goes. way over. A little bit slower than Murray might have liked it to, but it does make its way over. Oh. I almost see dash right into that other form. Devil, meanwhile, I didn't see if he got the spike tunnel first, but he does get that first acid skip very nicely. Also going for setup version of this skip. Yeah, both runners uh, seem to have got through the Isma skips uh, Eros, which is always nice to see. And again, very s slow hurt, but he does get the early control from it, so... They're still getting comparable RNG, it looks like, throughout the run. Devil trying to go for that impossible ski dash or acid skip, I guess, coming out of the um, Isthmus room. It looks like Murray uh, gained four seconds more on Devil in the Isthmus split section. Yeah. Uh, so he is now 23 seconds ahead. Oh, Devil taking a lot of damage in this room and not even to the to the broken bridge. Not super worrying, but because he will be taking a bench here very shortly, but worth noting that he's, his movement has not been as clean as Murray throughout the run, and that's basically where we've been seeing the differential in their times. Yeah, Murray getting through the uh, Mollarks very cleanly so far, only getting hit once on the intentional damage. It does get hit a second time, but three masks and full soul will be more than enough for him entering the Broken Vessel fight. Yeah. Does go for the face cram. Gets it first try, too. Very nice. So what you're going to be seeing here is after they take care of all of these little blobs, uh, a fireball before screen and a fireball after screen. Um, I believe that gives him enough enough damage that he'll instantly go into into that into the headbangs. Devil taking a lot of damage did go down to one health in that Mauler room and is farming soul off of that infection blob. Yeah, we're definitely going to see Devil lose some time here, especially in saying Murray seemed to have a very quick broken vessel fight. Devil going for face cram as well. Doesn't get it first try, does get it second try. Ooh, though, Murray just kind of airballs a wall jump, uh, giving Devil a little time to catch up. Looks like Devil did get a, a double off of that first fireball. I don't believe he did on the second one, though. Is getting headbang right away, though, so. There he goes. Okay. That was a fairly clean um, broken vessel. It might be a little faster than Murray's, actually. Be interesting to see.
Yeah, unfortunately, oh. Mario loses 16 seconds on that split. Uh, it's likely more because of his small arc room than his broken vessel yeah. fight. Uh, but Murray is now 39 seconds ahead. Yeah, just off those health troubles. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> it's hard to tell without the vi without the audio cues. It didn't look like it to me, but. So now they'll be heading over into uh, the Hornet 2 fight. This is the most dangerous fight in this tournament. There's been a few deaths, even top 16, there's been a few deaths in the Hornet 2 fight. It just all depends on how much she parries, how much she jumps around. Yeah, so and even in the absence of a death, uh, you can definitely gain or lose a lot of time just off the existence of parries and unfortunately kind of jumps. Yeah. Murray not taking any safety benches. I don't expect Devil to either. Well, yeah, Devil actually just took the King Station safety oh, bench, which <laughs> is only a very small time loss, so that's alright to take. I can see it in a race setting. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, considering how much of a time loss it would be if something did happen and you'd have to restart the fight. Yeah, Murray opening up the Horna 2 fight with a nice quick double, then getting some unfortunate jumps from Horna. Uh, just missed the nail slash, uh, but overall this is really clean for Murray. Showing she no signs of danger. Yeah, you know, she hasn't been parrying any of the spells thus far, so that at least is pretty good. It's just the nail swings that she's been parrying. Yeah, and a quick fight from, from Yeah, Mario that was now. an extremely quick Hornet 2 fight uh, right there. I think all but one of Murray's Shade Souls doubled there. Uh, it'll be tough for Devil to find any time here, uh, even with a great fight. Yeah, we'll see how she is with him. Harry right off the bat? Is that what I just saw? Boy, so. Nice double there, though, from Devil. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Devil is, has gotten, I believe, no doubles yet. He, I thought he got one, but maybe not. Uh, is getting a couple good D-Darks in, but is now very low on health. Oh, Devil, be careful, please. Okay, that he's That finish scared. off Hornet pretty cleanly. And that's a good um, opportunity to show. He chooses to use his soul for damage output rather than safety healing, uh, and does end up finishing the fight because of that, so... Yeah, and that's something yeah. you see with uh, these top runners here, is just the confidence. Even at one mask, they know they can finish the fight. You really won't see them safe to heal anywhere. Alright, so Murray heading over to Dirtmouth. He's going to be heading into um, Howling Cliffs to get another of his nail art. Uh, another one that is used fairly heavily for movement. Um, not so much in 1221. Uh, current patch does use uh, the cycles to do cyclone drops because they are not able to inventory drop. We'll see a few of them, I expect, from the racers here as well, where uh, inventory dropping isn't as optimal but definitely not used as heavily as in current patch. Murray also does not get uh, C-Dash glitch, glitch, excuse me. Yeah, so it's worth knowing that at this point, uh, exiting Hornet, the runners were 51 seconds apart. Uh, this is looking very good uh, for Murray. 
here this race uh, the only really significant time loss uh, other than a death left in the run is the um, missing the umu one cycle uh, and that will only lose about 20 seconds uh, so murray would still have a 30 second lead even if he did miss that and double got it yeah i mean umu has been known to be quite nasty um she is able to do an extra cycle as well, or an extra attack as well um, and we have seen that fairly consistently in this tourney as well um, and trying to save a one cycle if she's doing an extra attack can be quite difficult i expect both racers have experience with that but we'll have to see how it plays out in a tournament setting as well There, Mato Hut was about, was about the same, so they're still sitting at about 51 seconds. Murray showing off those cyclone drops that we were talking about earlier. Very nice. A little scary there. Yeah, Murray kind of messing up that drop, but still managing to make it work. Ah. Uh, Murray being one of those runners that just goes for all the swag. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it throughout the run so far, so... All right, so Murray going into Umu fight, it looks like, on for health. Still pretty comfy, especially if he gets that one cycle. See how nice Umu is to him. He's on full health, so he doesn't need to dream nail or anything. All right, so a slow attack here. Another slow attack. Oh. The devil unfortunately takes damage on the way to Umu here. Yeah. This is an interesting setup on Murray's part. It does put her in position though. One, two, three, four. And does and get the one it. cycle. Yep. Yeah, and with that one cycle, that pretty much locks it in that the only way uh, Devil can help to catch up is if Murray somehow dies. Yeah, uh, and really the only death that I can think of that would potentially put him back in the race is Distant Village or maybe a sibling climb death. I mean, if 51 seconds of death anywhere can at least make it feasible for Devil. Uh, but I don't see Murray dying anywhere other than, yeah, maybe sibling climb. Yeah. And Devil does get an extra attack as well. So is he yeah, going we'll to be able to save We'll see if able to save it. Oh, she's high. And too far. Mm. I don't think he's going to be able to push her out. No. no. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Ooh, and going down to one health. A little, a little scary, but he does manage to two cycle her, so... So as Devil's making his way over to slurp up his second Dreamer, Murray is going to be getting his last nail art. This is a very heavy movement section as well. Not very dangerous, especially for experienced runners. It's just all muscle memory movement at this point. Murray doesn't yeah. go for the C-dash in that room, though. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, taking that damage can make the uh, split rather stressful, even for experienced runners, uh, if the Uma decides to hit, be in a bad spot and hit you. 
uh, I can speak to that personally, as it happened to me, and I died during my last race of the tournament. I remember that. <laughs> Murray missing a couple of pogos and a little bit. His movement wasn't as great in the splits, but it's still not going to give Devil the opportunity that he needs in order to catch up, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, and Murray's zooming through this section. Yeah, Murray's doing a good job getting uh, the Durandu cycles. Did he just C dash into that room? No, no he, he stopped that. right before. Devil <laughs> does choose to do the C dash into the Uma room, does get it too, so. <laughs> There's a little bit of time save for Devil. That yeah. won't be enough, but. Still like to see him inch as close as he can. And he does get the lamp pogo as well, so that's a little bit as well for, for Devil as long as the rest of the split goes fairly nicely. Alright, and with that, Murray will be heading over into... Uh, Queen's Gardens, he'll be picking up um, his last spell, an upward spell that is only used once in this whole uh, uh, category, excuse me. Yeah. And that uh, is in order to get the upgraded version. Yeah, unfortunately, Halloween Race is just so far out of the way uh, compared to a standard speedrun route that it really is never useful in I don't think any category. No. Uh, and kind of the same way with Abyssal Shriek since you need to get Howling Raves to use it, despite being the highest damage spell in the game. Murray does choose to see Dash off of that wall, taking care of the two splits. Uh, before the arena, a good call. It's very easy in this arena to lose track of which ones you do need to kill, which ones came into the room with you. Murray has a very clean split arena. Yeah, I could see no fault in that. Um, now going into QG and Dark Deep Nest with five masks, uh, making it even less likely uh, that anything unfortunate will happen to him that allows Devil to come back into this race. Yeah. Oh, he chooses to see dash from the wrong platform. It's a little bit of a hiccup, but... We'll chalk that up to tournament nerves. Yeah. Now De Devil will be making his way over to the same arena as well. Does try to C dash through. Uma's not in a good um, a good position, so is able to cancel it before taking any damage. We'll have to see how Devil's Squid Arena is. Yeah, Murray's not giving him any opportunity at all either to catch up either. No, he really isn't. Uh, which has to suck if you're Devil, because Devil hasn't had a bad race either, really. Uh, no. I mean, of course, missing that Umu one cycle would probably cost him a race, even if uh, Murray wasn't playing as well as he is. Uh, but other than that, Devil has not really made any significant mistakes. And he has a super clean Squid Arena as well. Very comparable, I would say, to, to Murray's. But yeah, Murray going into Dark Deep Nest on 4 HP is very, very comfy. Um... Rick's informing us that he did lose about six seconds to Murray in the Howling Wraith split. 
that might be due to the little sea dash into Queen's Gardens by clinging to that wall over the asset. Devil did hiccup a little bit with that. There's a couple other movement sections that he was hiccuping I'm, a little bit. I'm surprised to see uh, Devil lose time there, honestly, having got the, uh, you know, sea dash from archives uh, while Murray didn't go for it. Um, he he did have to stop it, though. Yeah, he did the second time, didn't he? Yeah. Six was across both race and great slash, Rix is saying. Yeah, with this, Murray's just kind of locking it in at this point. It would take... I don't even know if a sibling death would be enough at this point. It's I an hour, believe a minute and a half. it would be, but it would be close. It would yeah. at least make it a raise. A very clean fall from Devil in there, in that room just before Dark Deepness. Yeah, and Wasabi's yeah. pointing out that Devil isn't necessarily playing bad here. It's just that Murray's PB is so good that even if Devil's playing at his best, it's tough for him to match yeah, up to Murray. There's about a minute between their PBs. So, Devil is playing very, very well. Don't want to discount that. It's just Murray's movement has been a lot cleaner on the whole. All right, Murray's heading over to Basin now as Devil's heading over to slurp up his last Dreamer. On four health still, so very healthy. The uh, Devout shouldn't give him too much op uh, too much trouble. He's got full full soul as well to deal with it. Yeah, and we should see probably from. Uh, Devil with that soul will see a left side exit from Beast End. Mm -hmm. uh, we might actually even get to see the uh, new Great Slash or Dash Slash uh, Devout kills, hopefully. I didn't see, I assume Murray did it, uh, given that he was one who discovered it as far as I'm aware. I honestly what, did not pay attention to that on Paul Jars. No swag door for Murray. Unfortunate. Very clean drop into into the bottom of the abyss, though. Oh, Devil, Devil manages to seconds. save four seconds. Yeah. Devil is going to our left side exit. Murray running into a little bit of trouble in the sibling climb, but it doesn't look like it'll be enough to wow, cause he's got real it. problems. Yeah, he's got it clean. No lever skip skip. Hate to see it. I know. And Devil will also be making his way down to Basin as well. Um. Hopefully the siblings are a little nicer to Devil than they were to Murray. But considering that their RNG has been pretty similar throughout the race, I don't know that it will. Yeah. yeah the runners have had extremely similar RNG, except probably the most important bit of RNG, the Umu extra attack. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, their Hornet 2 fight wasn't very similar either. Now that we're mentioning it. Yeah, I guess it really was just the early game RNG. Alright, so Murray is going to go over and use his race for the only time in order to upgrade it. And then we're going to be seeing a Abyss Climb. Probably one of the top ILs, I would say, for 
Yeah, as far as I'm aware, this is probably... Yeah, I don't know. There's been a lot of activity in Abyss Climb IL uh, with the All Skills tournament going on, so I won't be surprised if that was the most popular. Devil's siblings were, it seems, were a lot nicer than Tamari. Good positioning for pogoing them. Yeah, Devil had a really clean sibling climb there. Alright, so Murray's picked up his last skill. All that's left is the Abyss Climb and his THK fight. Now, if you're Murray, would you be doing... Well, I guess it would depend if he's watching the race, but would you be doing safe strats on your Abyss Climb? It doesn't look like he's going for safe strats. It looks like he's going for his swag. You know, if I'm Murray, uh, you just do what you've practiced, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and in this case, going for some of the harder strats, like those spike pogos, is just what you're used to doing. And it's really not much of a thing you think about. And it was a very clean uh, climb from him as well, so. Yeah, it has a bit of trouble getting uh, the last spike pogo, but it doesn't hit him, just misses the spikes and falls down and gets to retry. Mm -hmm. So as Murray is heading over to THK, Devil's heading over to get his last spell as well. Very good race from both runners. Um, Murray just has his THK fight now. Meanwhile, Devil on the other screen is going to be doing his abyss climb very shortly here. Let's see how he does. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Devil hits That's about the speed. worst spike to hit on the entire abyss climb, right there. And, yeah, and does choose to reset the room. Um, those uh, shadow crawlers are on cycle, so any kind of hazard respawn like that will put them all off cycle as well, making the climb a little bit more difficult. Ooh. Oh no. Come on, Devil. You got this. Murray, in the meantime, is having his Hollow Knight fight. Doing a bit more dashes than we'd like to see. And a lot of parries, too. Yeah, fortunately, parries aren't that awful in all skills, uh, when compared to like any percent, say. Uh, because the Shriek does still hit most of its damage on a parry. Yeah. Uh, but those dashes are really unfortunate. Yeah, and that's it for Murray. He did not get his screen skip, but he just needed one more shriek and it was done. So GG to Murray. Yeah, GG's Murray. Uh, it's looking like it'll be a uh, 55... 46? No, 54. 5040. Yeah, 5046. 50, which is a great time uh, in a tournament setting. Did Murray just go GG Murray? Did <laughs> Murray did, in fact, say GG Murray and Saint <laughs> to himself in the chat. Oh. You'll love to see it. Alright. Um. Devil going in for his THK fight night now as well.
I didn't see, but I'm assuming he took a bench because he's back up to full health. Yeah, he must have. Oh, this is our dream now. A lot of dashes from the THP on this fight as well. Yeah, Devil is doing a good job of getting the shrieks and not even with the dash. Yeah. Uh, the real issue with the dash is when it, it allows THK to duck out of the way. And that's where it's really a problem. Yeah. Alright, so he's in... And I kind of jinxed it as THK ducked out of the way. Uh, that last shriek right there. It's nice to know that it's not just me that's comms versus though. So, oh, does miss that. And then Stagger is out of a. Oh. That's unfortunate. All right, so we'll be getting the racers in hopefully fairly quickly here, as long as they're both up to interview. So if chat has any questions um just type it in chat and we'll ask them as we can yeah devil finished with a 52 49 which is also Very a nice. really respectable uh race time yeah especially with his uh unfortunate umu that is a very very good time for him yeah definitely See if we can get Devil in here. Oh, he's not going to join for interviews, but we've got Murray here. All right, then Murray, you are free to come on up whenever you're ready. Uh, GG's to Devil Tifa. So we'll just wait for Murray to join. Oh, there we go. Hey. GG, Murray. Thanks. <laughs> GG's. Thank you. So how do you feel with your race today? Uh, pretty, pretty chill compared to the way I normally feel. Like... Basically, right now, I, I don't feel, really feel like playing Hall Knight lately. I haven't been feeling like playing Hall Knight lately, so I just did a Dearest today, and I had a, another 50, a higher one than this one, though. So I, I thought to myself, yeah, that should be enough, because, I mean, I, I know I know Tifa really well. He's a, he's a French uh, French runner, so I knew what what was um, his plan like and like lately he hasn't been able to, to train at all um this category so i knew he he wouldn't be like able to get a 50 or 51 so yeah uh, I, w I was kind of chill and it was good because i stress way too much normally i think i'm never gonna practice all night ever again just to not feel stressed <laughs> Yeah, I understand I, that feeling. This uh, tournament has seemed to really burn out a lot of runners. Yeah, I mean it's really long, and also, I mean even the the, the bracket, not the bracket stage, but the pool stage was really long. So, <laughs> so now it's even more. But it's all right. I mean, we we need to to finish what we started, right? Oh, for mm. sure. Um, was there any parts of that race that you weren't happy with? Well, a lot of little things, I think, a lot of details. Like I messed up a few, a few inputs, a few rooms, just by releasing one input either uh, too early or too late. Or so that was a little bit. Um, I mean, yeah. Normally, I tend to focus way too much on those mistakes but today i was like my it's fine and so i don't know 
what, what I, I can check what were my worst uh, split compared to BB. Yeah, I'm I'm mad about the fifth split because that was <laughs> very unnecessary from the from <laughs> from the ladder, but but still. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, apart from this, now solid Mantis Claw. Mountain Claw was solid, but but on it. And then yeah, um, I had a really good, um, a really good Sanctum. I felt, but uh, I had a bad, uh, bad Soul Master. Yeah, yeah both of you guys unfortunately got that uh, awful RNG of the instant dive. <laughs> yeah, the the dive. It was. I mean, at least I got one hit on the the second fireball because sometimes, like, it can dive right between the two fireballs, and you, you just wasted one. This time, at least I got the damage from uh, a single hit, so that was fine. But yeah, overall, I was. Oh yeah, and I fell in the dream platform. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I kind of, uh, I was like, oh, it looks like at this point in the run, there's not much left for Murray to lose time on, and then you fell on so Oh, no, there are, there are plenty, really. The, 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 um, the Isma skip are uh, what frightens me the most in the whole category, I, uh, I feel. Oh, you handled them uh, very well. Uh, yeah, but, like, I, uh, I don't know, but this, especially the tunnel skip, I feel like it's, that kind of skip where you either get it first try or fifth try, you know. Oh, for so, sure. One of those. I'm a, I mean, it's not that. <laughs> it's not that um, that high of a of an attempt, but like I feel like it's really easy to to lose two or three HPs uh, coming into the tunnel skip if you fail it the first time. So I'm, I'm always really uh, worried about it. But once once it's done, I'm fine because I know that at most I can fail the last jump of the second ice skip. But usually I can um, I don't fail it more than once. This time, contrary to the turn skip, so I was I was alright. Once I got it first try, I was like, okay, it's it's fine. The, not I wouldn't say the the run was finished, but I was I knew that I was relieved <laughs> for the whole thing because I knew that. Yeah, maybe I could have got the two cycle, but it was it wouldn't have been that bad. I think that ban of a time loss and all, all that. Oops. No, I wasn't watching. Oh. No, no, I was just assuming the whole time. Maybe I shouldn't have though. Maybe I mean, if I, knowing my luck, I don't know, for instance, if you consider the last match, maybe I would have tuned in in the uh, you know at the end of the race, pretty happy about my performance, and then I I would have seen. Tifa with a 49. <laughs> it happened to me twice already, so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, um... Yeah, it was overall a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good run with its ups and down with better... I mean, if I was better practiced, that could have been... I think the, the RNG for this was really good. That could have been a, a really low 50 or maybe even a 49. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in a race setting, unless you're Pisces, it's really hard to do, to obtain, so... <laughs> yeah. Were you, were you able to gold any of your splits during No, the no, no. No, no uh, my... My movement wasn't um, tight enough, I think. Mm -hmm. I was close from some of them, but nothing, uh, like, I've never been less than a second uh, behind gold. If I look quickly, yeah, no, 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 always, uh, okay, no, in, in Mentis Claw I was less than a second behind, but uh, okay. that's, uh, that's it. Unless uh, someone, anyone in chat has any last minute questions, I think we'll wrap up right there then. Uh, GG's Mary. Uh, GG's GG the Double Mary. Tifa. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, GG for, for Tifa as well. I think he is kind of relieved to be out of the tournament finally because he didn't expect to make it uh, at first because like it was a top eight 
when when he he registered but then it got um widened to top 16 so he got in and then like there were you know the few um uh some people dropped out and uh, some people got banned so in the end like he, he had a way uh, easier uh bracket than he was supposed to so it Got even longer than what he initially planned, <laughs> so <laughs> I think yeah, I think he's fine now. Like he's <laughs> he's quite happy, <laughs> as happy as he can be after losing a race, obviously. But yeah, thank you also very much, uh, Kid and Spicy, for the for the commentary. I hope everyone yeah. had a good time. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Murray. Uh, and with that, thank we'll you. wrap up. Thanks uh, to Gidge for hopping on the cocom with me at the last minute. Uh, and Thank thanks to chat <laughs> and Rixian in particular for keeping track of the times for us. Makes our job as a commentator much easier. Uh, and I hope everyone has a good rest of your day. I will get you guys the time on the next upcoming race if there is one. Just 11 one. tomorrow. 11 <laughs> Eastern time. All right. You and heard Gedge. <laughs> it is Axe and yeah. Edgy Boy, so another good race, hopefully. Yeah, it is like the, it's the same run as me, or is it is it the the next one? Because I like I was behind schedule because my round should have been last week. So theirs is the last one for this round. Okay, yeah, so it's the same run as us. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So have a good night, morning, afternoon, or whatever time it is, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>